the day is finally here. The College Football 25 Deep Dive is alive today, July 2nd, 2024. And I'm excited to jump in and get a reaction to this video, uh, as well as to go through the College Football 25 Dynasty Deep Dive. Uh, thank y'all so much for joining me. My name is Alfred Avenue, and I'm excited to jump into this with you. Uh, we're going to go through and review the video, kind of get my reaction to it, and then jump into the nitty gritty details of that blog. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Stay tuned and keep it pushing. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with <laughs> EA Sports College Football 25, back for another deep dive. Let's this go. Time we're talking about everyone's favorite mode, Dynasty. Yes. Online Dynasty in College Football 25 can accommodate up to 32 teams, and you can play with friends for up to 30 seasons. That's Today cool. we'll take a closer look at the new 12 team college football playoff. 30 seasons is actually like a good amount, like especially for an offline or for an online dynasty. That's like not insignificant. Recruiting. Uh, recruiting. The transfer portal and a ton. Oh, hold up. College football playoff. I'm just going to watch recruiting. it. Then we'll go back through and, and, and react. And a ton of customization options to make your program unique. Cool, cool, cool. College football. Yo, those UTEP jerseys are dirty. Over the past few years. And in EA Sports College Football 25, you can experience this new landscape while building your program the way you want. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12 team college football playoff, and you can play it first in the game months before the real thing. You could be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12-team playoff and hoist the college football playoff. I know this is a silly nitpick, but like the one thing that bugs me about Madden, the new game, and then also kind of looks like, like the body types on these. Hopefully they get the faces right and the faces look better in general, but like the body types are so weird. Like this quarterback is built like a fridge like your school look at, through the new 12 I don't know, it's just playoff weird. and hoist the co first coach to lead your school through months before the real thing you could be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12 team playoff and hoist the college football playoff trophy that's cool. recruiting is the lifeblood of college football Dude, recruiting is my absolute favorite section. I love playing the game, but I love doing the recruiting. I'm really excited to see what they've done. Uh, a lot of the changes in regards to like, you can see the actions. People are worried about it being too in depth. This feels, even just looking at this, I, it hasn't even gotten into it. it. looks like you have your recruiting board and you have actions you can do. Um, and I'm assuming you have like points or time you can use each week. I can't imagine it's going to take all that much time uh, to, to really do. And it has like the same, you can see like, uh, like, the, I don't know if you, you can't see that, but like on the, the little underneath his name, that bar, like you can see how close you need to be to the top eight, which I'm assuming is where you can get recruiting visits and stuff like that. I'm excited. Can't wait to see uh, what they have in store for this. And in a world of unlimited transfers, managing your dynasty roster has never been more. Of unlimited transfers. I'm going to pause a lot for this. You can see Lewis Lucky. It's a cool name. Dude, it shows their tendencies too, which I know there was like position and speed, uh, possession and speed and stuff like that. Um, okay, shows high school. Oh, you can also see, oh, back from like the 2006 period, like on the right-hand side, you can see like what their main interests are and figuring out what their interests are is like, is really cool. Um, being able to like recruit to that. Um, that was, a, I think something that they took away for 14. That was valuable. That'll be, that'll be cool. Um, yeah, this is cool. Dynasty roster has never been more important. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. Yeah, this is that's the normal. best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. That's right. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 3,500 high school recruits okay. are generated cool. from all over the country, with certain regions representing real-world hotspots for blue-chip talent. Cool. Like your Floridas, your Texas, your Alabamas, things like that, which will help with smaller dynasties, being able to get those recruits. If you like, there's a really good talent from that area, uh, you'll be able to get him if you just meet his needs uh, compared to the big boys. South Florida and Metro Atlanta. 
Do research to find recruits that best fit your program and determine who you can realistically land. So you've got recruiting board, prospect list. Um, I'm guessing those are people that might fit but aren't actually on your board yet. Transfer portal, which is obviously players from other schools. Um, your school and then top classes. I like the I like the uh, the look of this. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades. Like that's like the old school thing. Proximity to home. Oh, that's cool. Like you can go through the different pitches and it lines up with the thing on the other side. I like that. That's 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 going to be. I, I like the fact that they're bringing that back. Playing time and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades align with your recruits' desires, in addition to scouting for talent. Some players have a deal breaker requirement, and if your program cannot provide, the recruit will lock you out. Yeah. Deal breakers also drive a player's decision to enter the transfer portal. Monitor at-risk players Dude, that is cool. Being able to see like where the deal breaker is falling short to try and get on the good side of them in the portal before uh, other teams do. That's really cool. <clears throat> and get one last chance to convince your favorites to stay. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Pitch a prospect to gain more interest and then set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10, then eight, then five, to finally be part of their top three. As a recruit trims down- I wonder if there's gonna be situations where you just win the player outright, or if like every single recruiting battle is gonna go down to like the 10, eight, five, three, one. Um, Cause I enjoyed the fact that sometimes you could win a player just by being the most, like the best school for them outright. Um, versus having to like go down to a recruiting battle at the end of every single like season, but we'll see. Down to the top eight, you can attempt to increase your appeal. If your school doesn't have exactly what the prospect is looking for, you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. Plan visits that Dude, nice. Dude, that's that's this is absolutely bringing back stuff from the 2006 game where like you could like if they didn't think something was important, but it was like something that your school did well you could sway the recruit to like see that p specific thing that you could sway that recruit to see that specific thing as more important to help like boost the the like perception of your school i'm i'm really going to enjoy this again and also it's bringing back like stuff that helped me to be good at recruiting uh compared to just putting numbers on a slider i'm pumped to recruits experience like pairing a quarter in your favor Plan visits that elevate a recruit's oh, yeah. experience. Complimentary like visits and stuff. a visit with a wide receiver visit at the yeah. same time. Yeah, that's normal. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens in the offseason to round out your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect quick decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land a new home. Conference realignment is a hot topic in college football. And Dude, recruiting looks sick. I think it's a, a it's a good, healthy, like more rounded version of what the game was like in 2014, mixed with some of the things from the older generation of games. And I think recruiting is going to be. People are looking at it thinking it's going to be tedious. I think it gives you more control or at least more of the feeling of control uh, in regards to recruiting and getting the players you want, convincing the true players that you want to come to you by like swaying their opinions or figuring out exactly what they want and need. And if you end up getting a player or like losing a player by just a little bit, you know, and you don't keep your promises, they you have the chance of losing them in the portal, but you also have the ability to pull in players that you were so close to getting during the initial recruiting process to come to you and play immediately because of the, the transfer or portal access. I think it's going to be a really big win uh, for Dynasty because of this. Conference realignment is a hot topic in college football. And with custom conferences in EA Sports College Football 25, Dynasty is yours to control. See what a 20-team super conference might look like or revert to the traditional conference alignment. That's cool. Shape the conference size and I membership and set this custom is, this conference is, rules. No, I mean, pretty similar to what you had in 14. 
Once you've settled your conference options, it's time to select your team. Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. Or build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown oh, to Oh, Kennesaw State bad. They look so good. You can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Oh, start that's cool. We can't. So you get to pick your you you get to pick your alma mater, your playbooks, but you also get to pick like a coach pipeline, like where you came from. That's cool, which gives you a leg up in that territory. Um, so I'm from Alabama, so I'm going to pick Alabama anyways. But like, if you wanted to be strategic in your dynasty and you need you know those speed speedy players from from South Florida, or those those big time offensive linemen, defensive linemen from from Georgia, you can set your pipeline in the state where you want it. I like that. Can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Start as an offensive or defensive coordinator and climb mm. the ranks to head coach or take over a program as the head coach right away. Choose from one of the three big Ooh, the three different types. This is cool. Um, get your player motivator. Get your players to play their best by boosting their ratings and composure. Nobody has it better than us. Jimmy's and Joe's, not X's and O's. You scout faster. This is the recruiter one. And recruit better than any other type of coach. I'm probably going to do that one. That's just like who I am. Um, and then the tactician, boost your players' ratings on game day. Scheme up the big plays and let the visor fly. Um... I'm trying to see like what the difference is between motivator and tactician. Um, it doesn't feel like there's a huge difference, but I'm sure they'll get into it a little bit more. Ace coaching types to start. Your coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you start with. From there, your coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you. St Dude, this looks good. That guy looks like I like that pedestache, bro. What up, Greg Malone? All right. Uh, bigger, bigger XP whenever a player levels up. Okay, so may, let's see. I, I wish it would go into them. I want to see them. Start with. From there, the coach type will determine what coaching skills. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to investigate. Master motivator can get anyone to run through a brick wall. Okay, that's basically what that says. And you can see your Start coordinators. With. Cool. From there, the. Oh, okay, cool. So extra gear. Quarterbacks get boost to toughness, stamina, and injury, icy veins. So going through the court passing game, and I guess that's running game, catching. Uh, okay, so this is similar. It's just set up different because, like, I remember that bulldozer, like, look thing. I remember the bull. Um, uh, that's pretty cool. Put in work. Quarterbacks get an off-season training boost. Okay, so you get different boosts with different times. So they start with a composure boost. Quarterbacks start. So this is mixing a little bit of the – um the coaching tree with some of the boosts that you would have gotten from your offensive coordinators um specifically in regards to like coaching and whatnot but i'm we're gonna keep going let's see the abilities you acquire as you progress will determine what kind of coach you develop master at getting the most out of their players within a scheme yearly uh xp for records held by player you coach see i feel like that's cool but like the the by the time they're breaking records, the boost, I don't know, will be super duper, super duper, like, effective. Unless the XP goes towards, like, the archetype, right? So, like, let's say you hold the record for, like, most touchdown passes, and you get, like, a boost to players in that position because you have a player who has that um, existing record. Like that, that's the way that I read that. Develop into unlock additional. Rest will determine what kind of coach you develop into unlock <sighs> additional skill trees with better abilities. Or if you build up multiple skill trees, you can unlock hybrid trees that leverage a more diverse skill set. Cool. I'm going to go back and look at these skill trees with better abilities. The program builder head coach who can oversee everything bonus xp when a school grade or prestige increases that's cool um i'm curious like what the limit if there's limits to that or and if it like resets and whatnot if it's like a seasonal reset or if you just like get better as you use these things and like you continue to get more xp from that or if you build up oh cool 
have five players drafted. Cool. And you get like you see the little tokens at the top. Um, you've got like ten coaching tokens or whatever, and you can see like the upgrade price. I hope you y'all can see also where they're going with this. They're getting you used to spending currency to prep you for ultimate teams, so they can sell you currency to to to, to use that. Just want y'all to be aware of that. Multiple skill trees you can unlock. Master of the chess game XP bonus for wins versus ranked opponents. Cool. That's nice. Hybrid trees that lever. Uh, oh, passing game. So mobile quarterbacks. Um, let's see. Passing quarterback ratings boost. Boost throw under pressure and break sack. Boost spin juke ball carrier vision for mobile quarterback ratings. Boost to short and medium accuracy. Cool. Bridge a more diverse skill set. The coaching carousel is an important part of every coach's journey. Whether you're the head man at your dream school or working your way up, the carousel is your way of fielding offers from other programs. Head coaches in Dynasty can actively manage their coordinator positions. So oh, if one of your good. staff takes a job elsewhere or you decide to cut ties for other reasons, you can use the carousel to replace them. Remember, even the greatest coaches need support and every coach has a unique skill tree. It's important to think about Oh, so all of the coaches work within that skill tree of like the three main ones. And some coaches have strengths where you have weaknesses and you have strengths where they have weaknesses. On how you want to build your staff, whether that's doubling down on your existing strengths to max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. Interesting. Choose wisely. The decisions you make here will matter to your program's success and your coach's progression. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So if your head coach and defensive coordinator have the same ability, mm, the impact cool. for that ability will be greater. Cool. Well, that's it for today's deep dive in the dynasty mode in EA Sports College Football. I feel like there's so much like still left to be answered in that, which like frustrates the crap out of me because it's like I just want to get in there and like experience it. Um, but I definitely like, I'm definitely going to be a head coach and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through the offensive coordinator stuff. I just don't prefer that. Um, but that video was sick, gave us some good, uh, insight into the game, what it's going to look like. That was definitely an exciting video that covered pretty much everything we wanted to see at like a surface level. Um, but the deep dive dynasty blog goes into a ton of detail and I've got videos coming up with the information on all of the things that were covered in that following the release of this video. If you enjoyed this video, the reaction to the College Football 25 Dynasty Deep Dive, please leave a like on the video. And if you wanna see more in the future, subscribe down below. I'm Alfred Avenue. See ya.